Share friends, we're starting a new series called Jesus, God Who Cares for People. And Jesus really does care for all people. So I have a praise report to share with you. I have a coworker at my school. She's a teacher and she's Jewish. But whenever someone's family member is sick or others are in need of a prayer, she tells them, Veronica's prayers are the best. And this has been such an encouragement to me. So this past week, um, she asked me to pray for her because she had been having a really difficult time getting an appointment to get her first COVID vaccine shot. She tried five times and failed every single time. So of course I told her, yes, I'll pray for you. And I had faith that God would answer my prayers and hear me. And I hope that when he did, it would become a testimony of Jesus's power. So the very next day, she got an email was able to schedule her appointment and she got her first shot. She shared with the team um, the good news and told everyone, Veronica's prayers really do work. And I replied, I just pray, you know, I let, I let God do the rest. I was able to tell everyone that it wasn't my prayers that are powerful, but it's Jesus who cares for us, who is powerful. You know, just like Pastor Mimi preached last Sunday, God provided me with an opportunity to carry out the mission to tell people about Jesus. Say it with me, Jesus is the almighty God. Jesus chose 12 men to be his followers called disciples. They did a lot of things together, sleeping, traveling, eating, talking, laughing, and most importantly, learning from Jesus. One day, Jesus and some of his disciples were invited to a wedding. Back then, weddings didn't just last one day. They could last a whole entire week. There were a lot of eating, happiness, and laughter at weddings. And because the weddings were so long, the family giving the wedding needed to have plenty of food and drink for everyone. The most common thing to drink back then was wine. Jesus and his disciples were at the wedding when something happened. The hosts ran out of wine. It would be embarrassing for them and disappointing for the guests. So what could they do? Well, Jesus' mother, Mary, was also at the wedding, and she went to tell Jesus and told him that the wine had run out. What do you think Mary wanted Jesus to do? Maybe she wanted him to do a miracle, something only God can do. Um, but Jesus told Mary it was not the time for everyone to know about him yet. Um, then Mary told the servants, you know, just to do whatever Jesus said, said them, told them to do. Um, so would Jesus do something? Well, so there were six large jars at the wedding. Jesus told the servants to fill them with water. Back then, they couldn't just turn on the faucet to get water. They would have to get it from a well. So the servants started filling up the jars. Each jar could hold about 20 to 30 gallons of water. That's like 20 to 30 big milk jugs from Costco, right? And to one stone cold water jar. Finally, the servants had filled all six of them. Then Jesus said something strange. He said, take some out and give it to the person in charge of the feast. The servants did exactly what Jesus asked and took some to the person in charge. When the host tasted the water, it didn't taste like water and it didn't look like water. Jesus had turned the water into wine. Can you do that? No, only God could do this. The person in charge was so happy, but he didn't know that it had been water just minutes before. He called the groom over and told him how surprised he was that the best wine was being served at the end of the feast. Usually they would just serve the best wine at the beginning. So Jesus had turned ordinary water into the best wine. Jesus is the almighty God. It wasn't a magic trick. It was a miracle. The Bible says this was the first sign or miracle Jesus did to begin to show people that he is God and has the power over all created things. Jesus was starting to do things to show people he is the Redeemer, the Savior who God had promised to come. For the next three years, Jesus did many more miracles. Most importantly, he taught us how to live in a way that was pleasing to him and invited us to believe on him so that we may, have, um, we may live eternally in heaven when we die on earth. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe he is powerful enough to do miracles in your life? If you said yes, then it is your mission to go tell others about Jesus and say, Jesus is the almighty God.